And joining us now with more, Congressman Peter King, former chairman and current member of the House Homeland Security Committee and member of the House Intelligence Committee as well. Congressman, good to see you tonight. Thank you. Good to see you. Do you believe that, that they still do not have the manifest of this flight? No, I would believe they have to have it. We, uh, meaning we, the we, Americans, the US, we have yes, that, right. don't we? Yeah, generally, again, I'm, I'm not certain, but I would think we do. And I would say probably the reason they're not acknowledging Americans, uh, they're going to wait until the next of kin is notified. That's usually the way it's done. Okay, so, but not even to confirm the number of Americans or that there were yeah. Americans on board? Yeah, I don't know why they wouldn't. To me, anytime you raise a mystery about something like this, it just creates conspiracy theories we don't need. This is bad enough without creating extra confusion. Do you do you have knowledge of this? I don't I, whether you can no, tell me or not. No, do you I have don't. knowledge? I don't know. Is this something that you will be briefed on? Yes, I will be. Yes. And right now, what we're hearing is that most people believe that this is this, you know, these faction, uh, this faction of Ukraine who is pro-Russian. Basically, they call them the separatists, but they're pro-Russian. Um, and the big question is whether Russia actually had its hands in it or not. Do you believe that matters? Uh, no, I think well, it matters. Certainly, if Russia was directly involved, it matters. But even if just the fact that they supply the weaponry, they have to take responsibility. And I think it's important for the president to show leadership here. If any Russian involvement at all, and it certainly appears as if there were, I think we should deny uh, uh, Russian planes uh, landing rights in the U.S. Wow. And, get, and get our European allies to do the same. Why should Aeroflot be allowed to land in our airports after something like this until Russia admits what happened, until they make full compensation, until they make sure it doesn't happen again? If if Russia had its hands on this, even indirectly, do you believe it was an act of war? Uh, I would say, well, if it's indirect, maybe not an act of war, but certainly an act of criminal negligence, mm -hmm. and Russia would have to bear responsibility. Because it's starting to sound like it may have been, may have been, an accident right. that these guys were shooting down cargo planes. Mm -hmm. And by the way, one of them had, I think, 50 people on it. So it's right. not like no human lives right. were, were lost. Uh, but they had shot down a, a cargo plane, I think, on Monday and then another one uh, yesterday. One on Saturday, 49 people were killed. One on Wednesday, they took credit for. And then this morning, they took credit for shooting down another cargo plane, cargo plane. And then when it was revealed that this was a passenger plane, they took down their tweet, taking credit for taking yeah. down a cargo plane. Yeah, I would put it in the category of criminal negligence. But again, as a major world power, Russia cannot be uh, guilty of that type of criminal negligence. They have to pay a price for that. This is some third world banana republic we're talking about. We're talking about Russia. We're talking about Putin. And he has to take responsibility. And he has to be held accountable. And we should, I believe, start with embargoes. We should start uh, doing whatever we can do economically and get our Western allies to show some guts and go along with us. And we have to become energy independent. We don't want to do it because it's going to hurt us financially, correct? I mean, if we put these sanctions on Russia, we have a downside economically. Yeah, it, in the long run, we have to do it. It's as simple as that. I mean, there's always going to be some pain, you know, no pain, no gain. And uh, so I believe, again, the president has to show leadership. How, what, what should he be doing? I mean, if the, if, if the early reports turn out to be true and there were 20 plus Americans on, on board this plane that were just murdered mm -hmm. uh, by guys who received some, right. some very dangerous equipment from Putin, what should our president do? Well, first of all, he shouldn't be at fundraisers tonight. That's absolutely disgraceful for the president of the United States at a time like what this. What is he to be, thinking, Congressman? I, I Why is no he idea. doing that? that there's, something, there's something missing here. There's, a, there's something missing between whether it's Benghazi, whether it's now, and this, with this, and he just passes over this in his speech today in Delaware. It cannot be that he does not care. So what could it be? There's something that uh, it's almost like an emotional barrier he has. Uh, again, well, Benghazi, he's out to Las Vegas to raise money after the Americans are killed in Benghazi. It's a failure of leadership. And it really, it's, uh, again, any president can make a mistake, but this is a pattern. It's a long established pattern mm -hmm. in times of crisis that he seems to just zone out. Last question. Do you think that we're going to know? We're going to know who did this one way or the other. Yeah, we will. The telemetry, Even if they're running away with the evidence in no, Moscow. The telemetry will show us exactly where the missile came from, and the forensics will show the material and what country it originated in. I hope you're right. Congressman P. King, good to see you tonight. Thank you. Thank you, sir.